Hey Scorpios, welcome to your February 2021 general reading. This reading will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. Remember, this is a reading for the collective, so if you do not resonate with the messages here, please check your Moon and your Rising Sign video to see if you resonate with those messages better. And I always recommend you go and watch those anyway, just to get more clarity for the month of February and also um, more messages as well, as so many messages as possible. All right, Scorpio, if you're new to my channel, comment your birthday down below, represent the Scorpio gang, and let's get started. Universe, please pick up on the energy of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Sign, for the month of February 2021. Please give me one card to represent Scorpio's overall energy. Three cards to represent the energy coming forward, Scorpio. Already you have Eight of Pentacles. Very busy this month, Scorpio. And three cards to represent the immediate future or possible outcome in the month of February. For Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, your overall energy. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're definitely working hard on something. Um, this is a period in your life where you're hoping that the seeds that you've planted um, will start to grow, will start to bear fruit. Um, this card definitely represents the harvest. So this is a time of collecting the rewards after all the hard work you've put in um, in the past, okay? Now the energy coming toward you, you have the Two of Swords, Libra energy, Knight of Wands, Fire Sign energy, so that's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you have the Ten of Swords, okay. So it seems like there may be a situation here where you feel like you've put a lot of energy and effort into something and you're kind of unsure if you want to end it, if you want to turn your back on it, or if you want to pursue it further, okay? So this video, I'm sorry, <laughs> this um, energy, I was reading something, sorry about that. Um, this energy is more like, should I stay and try to work it out? Should I end it and, and kind of cut my losses? So whether this is a person you've invested time in, a business, an idea, a project of yours, um, you're kind of at a crossroads right now, whether or not it's worth all the effort, okay? Because you're kind of looking back or looking at it currently and wondering, you know, is it worth it? Should I continue to put more energy into this or should I just move on? So you're kind of in that energy right now here where do you want to continue to pursue it or do you want to let it go? Now the outcome for you, you have temperance, very nice. This is going to help you bring balance because I feel like you're very confused as to what to do and temperance is going to help bring balance into your life and help to um, kind of merge those two opposing thoughts that you're having right now. You have the Page of Cups here, which is Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And then you have Justice. So if this, if your decision is dependent on someone else, I feel like you may be getting news from them. You may be hearing from them. Um, they may want to offer you something more. So let's say this is a job opportunity and you're wondering if you should continue um, to stay there. It seems like you may get some sort of offer here with the Page of Cups. That's going to be to your liking, right? Maybe you feel like you've been working really hard, but you're not getting um, the recognition or the money um, that you deserve. And I feel like someone here is going to like surprise you with something or send you a message. And this is where temperance comes in. This is what's going to help bring balance back into the situation because right now it's very either or. Okay, you can go either, either or away. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I got a call, but I am back. So, yeah, like I was saying before, um, you're definitely contemplating something, contemplating if, if something is worth the effort based on what you're getting back, okay? Um, like I said before, it's very likely that the situation is going to balance itself out towards the end of the month. You may get some sort of news that's going to influence your decision, um, but I feel like in the end, it's going to be what you want, right? Because I feel like you're having a tough time making a decision because you're not sure what you want necessarily. I feel like you don't want to end it 
and and run away from it um, you're just you're, you're not able to decide just yet what you want to do in this situation so there's going to be something that's going to change um, that for you uh -huh. push you towards um, making a choice here so let's see um, Let's look at Page of Cups. I'm very interested to, interested to see what is this news or information coming toward you, Scorpio, in the outcome here that has such a big influence. Ace of Cups. All right. This is definitely something that's going to be speaking towards your passion, towards your feelings, um, whatever it is. I feel like it's a very emotional message maybe something you weren't expecting and this could also have to do with like relationships and situations um maybe choosing to end the friendship and the business partnership and the relationship period like a romantic relationship but i feel like here someone kind of reaches out to you and offers you um their emotions or you may be doing the same to someone else like you're really just pouring out your emotions at this point um hoping to bring balance into this situation because it's very unbalanced at the moment, okay? So it seems like someone here kind of pours their heart out or expresses themselves in a way that's going to lead to a happy ending or something that's just. Let's clarify justice. Okay, <laughs> the Six of Pentacles came up right away. Give me another clarification, please, for justice. And the tower, all right. You know, for me, it seems like a lot of this has to do with avoiding some kind of permanent change or ending. Um, it seems like here, whatever it is, like whatever your option is to end something, it's, it's not something you want to do because you know it's going to cause a lot of pain whether that's pain on your end or pain on the other person's end or it's going to be something that's going to destroy um something that you've built or worked hard on you know the tower is an energy that same as the seven of pentacles kind of where you know you've built up this grand tower and then all of a sudden something you weren't expecting to happen happens and just brings the tower down right it just destroys everything that you've been working so hard on in some cases and I feel like for a lot of you you guys really cherish either the relationship that you have with this person or this thing or this project like this definitely something that you are emotionally involved in right um, and that's what kind of keeps you motivated and keeps you intrigued in doing what it is that you've been doing for a while because you're emotionally connected to it and it's really hard for you to let it go or to say goodbye to it even though maybe it's not bringing in a lot of money right maybe you're running a business that you're really passionate about but you're not making good money and it's kind of more stressful than it is gainful to you um but i feel like here with the t with the the justice card is like you're you're doing something here either you're following your heart um, someone may be telling you something that it's like, no, 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 follow your dreams, do what you're passionate about. And it's kind of like you're avoiding a disaster or you're avoiding losing a lifelong friend, um, a partner. It's just whatever this is here, this moment of opening up emotionally and communicating that is going to help avoid some type of disaster in the future. Okay. Hopefully you guys are following me. I know I'm kind of all over the place here, but there's a lot coming in and it's, you know, it's going to be different for every Scorpio, but I do feel like you're contemplating something that you care for. You put a lot of energy towards it, but now you're at a point where you're trying to figure out if you want to end things and no longer invest your time into it or if you want to continue and see if things get better so here with temperance and the page of cups um to me it's saying that you are going to avoid some type of drastic decision because i feel like this ten of swords is going to be a drastic decision right it's it's, it's going to be a decision but it's going to be a decision you're not going to be happy with essentially in the long run so that's why you're kind of going back and forth on it but yeah this is what I have for you, Scorpio, for the month of February. So lots going on. Um, I wish you the best of luck. Um, if you're interested in doing a private reading with me, just know that um, I'm not going to be doing readings, private readings in the month of February. I'm going to have a lot going on. Um, 
if you are a follower of my channel, then you probably know this, but I'm relocating from New York to Austin, Texas. So if anyone's from Texas, comment down in the comment section, say hello. I'm very excited to be moving to your state. So <laughs> that'd be really cool to hear from um, some fellow uh, watchers or subscribers who live there as well. So yeah, no private readings in the month of February. I'll pick it up again in March. And yeah, thank you so much for watching Scorpios and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.